Hello, livelies, lovelies. <laughs> well, I'm pooped, man. Just, uh, just updates, I guess. I've just been practicing a song that's been stuck in my head for who knows how long, like a very long time. And I guess this is just chat about music and I was just thinking of uh, amazing messages that I've been getting reminding me of moments and things like that and I always have this joke when I go play because you know when you're on the street it's uh, or not just on the street but there's a lot of that happening once upon a time a lot of people have, you know, they want you to do a cover or whatever that is, and then I joke like, you're never gonna guess this song, and uh, then you play one of your own songs, and then you, and then you see if they like it, which is funny. <laughs> They're like, wow, I really like that song, um, and uh, yeah, it's. It's a fun way to test your chops. Uh, I was just practicing a lot of songs that I wrote 2004, and being when you write stuff in 2004, like, that was a long time ago, <laughs> 20 years ago. <laughs> wow, maybe that's why they're coming back. So I just wanna talk musicianship, I guess. Um, it is the state of always having things written in your head and you forget about them. They're just kind of there. Uh, I like to, some people call it the vault. Put all the stuff, you, you write it down in diaries through the years and then you lose those diaries and then you come back to writing some other song and then you're writing the same song over and over again. And I think that's the message that the song would like to become alive. Uh, the more you remember it, the more you play it. So I was finding that really fun, uh, funny idea. And um, I don't know if that's the same for everybody else, but the other funny thing I notice when you're writing songs and stuff is you have this idea and it works really well and then you go to play it you know and uh it all sits well in your head but you can't actually play your own idea which is funny and then i've tested some songs with uh what is it? Like you're kind of cheating, right? Because you go on GarageBand or whatever and you track it and you sing and it's all there and it's happening. And you're like, yeah, that's awesome. But you realize you can't sing and play your own creation because you made it, it's timing so weird and offbeat and <laughs> whatever. So I was just thinking songwriting funny thoughts is this funny thoughts of a songwriter does anyone else agree with these processes and then you'll play it for other people and they'll be like wow that's really good that that really works and i said yeah i i, I noticed this and i'm excited about it but when i go to play it i can't do it <laughs> but i wrote it um so there's been one song kicking around called the EIO and I've only played it for a couple of people. I don't think I'm gonna play it now because I still can't play it properly, but uh, I've been practicing it and what, 20 or 15 years later, you're like, wow, it's finally getting in your muscle memory. I can actually play it for people like, 80% of the time, so what's the lesson here? You write a song 
uh, and and you must attack it for a decade <laughs> to try to get the timing. Basically, the chops I have. Um, I think I'll I'll share this song um, on on a secret thing to my friends because <laughs> um, it's kind of the one of those songs when you write it. I, I guess that's a message when you share it for a select few audience and they seem to really be yelling at you, you should do something with that. I think that's when you know you have something. Um, and at this point, I'm just really looking at, you know, when we think maybe all of this happens for a reason, and then you write the song and you never really thought about the lyrics in alignment to your life, and you're like, wow, oh, this song really makes a lot of sense to my situation, right? I don't think I wrote it anything specific in mind and then that's another thing maybe when a song is ready to come out um, but yeah I just had a really good message just in general and just like let everyone know this is where I am when I'm not answering your messages I'm like here practicing uh, but I aim, I have this way of practicing, but then you don't always get around to doing your own stuff. So I've been adamant about practicing my own stuff for a while now. And uh, that's been like one of the secret joys. I can't really, like I always wish, I always tell my friends, I wish you were all mu musicians or artists, right? Because people always ask you why you're in a good mood or happy all the time it's not always happy it's kind of frustrating because you have this idea and no one can see it and then the first time you play it and you, you lay it down and you listen to it it's very strange you're like whoa it became a little bit more real so my imagination isn't just imagination now becoming something so it's kind of this thing where you're sculpting the the, the baby or whatever and you can be sculpting this thing for like 15 years or 20 years apparently um, and I guess the thing is it's always challenging for me it's always challenging for everyone else like why do we keep these things to ourselves because they're so personal and yet sometimes you look at your writing it's so general but you know what it's about and yeah there's been a lot of stuff that you kind of have to re-own the song especially if it's emotional because then you become kind of depressed when you play it because you have the intention and the memories so yeah just this other song i wrote it with all of these crashes of images in my head uh I guess Kensington Market and all of that and thinking of way down in the future if I was not to know any of these people anymore um, and I kept getting this vision of like faces that I wouldn't see anymore and then I wrote this song and when you close your eyes it's it's sort of, you have to put music to that. I don't, I don't know why. And, uh, like, growing up, I knew a lot of musicians. And I'd always try to get my ideas out to them. And I guess the thing is, like, people don't really know. Initially, I was a very extremely shy individual. So, it's like anytime you want to share ideas your ideas get overrun and they never get time to breathe and I think that's a constant thing 
not even in a band context, but in a songwriting, creating context. For instance, you'll be in school, you'll get all these ideas, and it's the most challenging thing being creative or artistic when you don't have time for those ideas to breathe and they get shut down and they get destroyed before they even become formulated. So, I don't know, I'm up at 12, almost 1 o'clock a.m. <laughs> right now. And I've been sharing with my friends, okay, this year I'm going to try to go to sleep before 10 o'clock, but then I wake up and I get a bazillion ideas in my head. You go to your paintbrush, you go to your guitar, you go to your notebook, and then, you know, 1 a.m. turns to 5 a.m. <laughs> and you're like, wow, where did time go when I was channeling this thing? And then you're like, this is not good. And for one, I realize it's not good for health either, right? So um, I've been trying to sleep and not have creative ideas and wake up in the middle of the night. And <laughs> are you even awake right now? But I do realize it's fri Friday. So back in the day when I was young, <laughs> I used to be out for, my God, well, some of my lists may know this. I remember I did this thing once, I guess because I'm half asleep, falling asleep, just blabbing into the live now. But I was quite a party maniac. Um, not in the binging way, but I was so excited going, jumping in a car and going to places and, and not being there. And I would jump, we would go with no plans, go to the bank machine, grab enough money, and then go exploring, and you'd end up in a town, and you'd go to a club, and you'd party, and you'd whatever, and you'd meet some people, and they'd tell you about another place, so you'd go to that one too, and I can't even believe that was me. <laughs> and I had this week once, it was so funny. Okay, it's mini story time. There was this girl, not girl, or there was a group of people, um, and we, we remember we went out on a Monday, or, or a Sunday, and it was fun, it was like, you know, break dancing kind of stuff, and I used to do that kind of stuff. Surprise, surprise, many mysteries, when I was 20-something, <laughs> but we would have so much fun, we'd go out. And then you meet these people, and then I got kind of on a on a high with going exploring this town I never been to, <laughs> nothing like that. <laughs> Someone said orgy, no, um, no. But then I didn't realize I was going out every day because you'd end up at like someone's house or something like that, and then. You'd be like, oh, you're cool, it's so fun hanging out, you can crash here. And then and then you didn't realize you did that for like five days in a row. And you don't, and you're in another town now. <laughs> and then you're like, okay, this is crazy, I haven't slept. You also haven't slept in, because you keep going out. And then you end up back in Toronto or whatever your hometown is. And then you, you're gonna go home, you tell yourself you're gonna go home, and then on the way home, you bump into the person you bumped into on Monday. <laughs> They're like, hey, you want to go out now to something? And you're like, hmm, should I make it a full week? <laughs> and uh, then you tell them, no. No, I, I might like die of too much going out and having fun. And they realize you're wearing like the same clothes or whatever, right? Because you've just been road tripping. And I guess 
you know, that's not too different from people being in a band, I guess. And that's, that's the other thing that's challenging. <laughs> I was just talking about it. I was just practicing for several hours and I'm like pooped, but I can do that for you. Something peaceful or scary. <laughs> funny that I'm trying not to fall asleep when I'm playing. Has that any, happened to anyone before? You fall asleep and you're the one on playing the music on your own stage and you're like, oh wait, I'm the one that's doing that. I'm, I'm not allowed to fall asleep right now. That, that, I feel like that happens sometimes. So, oh my god, I'm so sleepy. <laughs> You'd be happy to know I'm drinking the brand drink here. <laughs> I don't think that gets shown on the replay. That's something they've been doing. On I notice when you replay the live, it doesn't show all the crazy conversations that are showing up. Maybe because it can get spammed. Should I out you and uh, announce? Somebody is announcing they enjoyed the music as they're going to the washroom right now. <laughs> Do you really want to know? What am I drinking right now? <laughs> the blue. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's the same drink. It's just always a different color. It's blue. Uh, last time it was red. I reached out to, I don't know if I told people, I, I was trying to see if there was uh, any sponsorship for the, for that company and uh, they handled their own stuff. They didn't have people helping promoting the drink. So I was like, okay, I'll still do it though for you. I'm not getting paid. <laughs> uh, but yeah pretty good day um i i just didn't get any sleep because i went early to the hospital in the morning for the checkup nothing bad 
Uh, I noticed that when I said that to people in the morning, they're like, oh my God, what happened? I was like, no, 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 no. I just go to the hospital to see, to check up and everything's fine. <laughs> but I realize that usually means for people, oh my God, you something's happened. You have to go. And I was saying as a joke, like I'm the promoter of like, checkups and health now, you know, because, uh, it doesn't have to be scary every time you go there. And, you know, last time I went there, I was like, I'm just going to pick up some stuff. Nothing happened. I'm fine. <laughs> Although I do, uh, I've been talking to friends about health and I don't know if you, anybody has whoop, um, yeah, heart rate, heart rate variability. Ha, huh, I remembered it, but I want to improve my sleep and this is that I shouldn't even be awake right now, but I try to go to sleep at, I've aimed before 10 o'clock and then like I tried to sleep at seven, I tried to sleep at, I end up lying there till nine, like not being able to go to sleep. So what are some of the ways to sleep? I mean, one of the things that probably I have to make everything black and blackout curtains and no lights, no blinky things. Um, but I just haven't been getting the deep sleep. And so it might be because I'm still in the, in the hospital mode. Uh, they wake you up every three hours to, to check, <laughs> check something. So I was waking up and, and then I just do this, right? So I've been trying to figure that out, but maybe someone can play music for me. <laughs> Cause because, yeah, yeah, I can get sleepy when I'm playing this, right? But, uh, anywho, how's it going, Mr. On the Toilet? <laughs> if you're still awake. Um, I've been excitingly talking to everyone about the microbiome and how you can eat your way to health and I swear it's not really going well for people that don't exercise <laughs> and that's a surprising thing too right uh, there seems to be some stereotype that people that don't people who play music rock out party all the time they don't exercise or watch what they eat I guess, and 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 when you become the Rolling Stones age, it, it's either you're Mick Jagger uh, with the fancy moves, or you're just still smoking cigarettes. <laughs> ah, what should we speak about? We could do a podcast now. It could it could be the very very sleepy podcast. Do you know? Um, Jeez, what's the producer's name? I forgot. There's a podcast with somebody who hadn't really done a, a long format podcast. He's like a music producer. And he said, I have one condition if we do it in a sauna. And they were like, what? <laughs> ah, on this, I probably haven't, I haven't checked anything. I just signed in now late at night. Yeah. Ah, uh, do you really want to do that? Is it exciting for people? <laughs> Wait, what's your podcast about? And we'll we'll center it around that as well. Is it health? Is it you know, we got we got to get on point with the or is it just people? Then it doesn't have to be specific. interesting stories <laughs> yeah oh yeah i got lots of interesting stories uh but remember you're on where are you putting this you can't we we are imprisoned by our platform overlords so um you got to keep in mind to keep to keep it you know 
I, I haven't currently looked at the rules. I think I, I can't say things like vaccine or, you know. <laughs> even that, even if I say that word, people are like, what, what, what happened? And, um, I mean, I guess we don't have to be as mindful about it. Do you love truth podcast? Do you do the X? Should make this a thing. Do you go on X? <laughs> There's a good amount of people that might want to talk to you about stuff. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. X. I, I enjoy... See, I'm, I'm on Instagram because this is where people go sometimes. Ah, oh, is that going to be the podcast though? <laughs> you secretly record me when I call you. I don't know if it can be an in-person one at the moment though. It might have to be like a video thingy at this point, so, but yeah, I mean, whoever wants to, to chat, uh, I'm all, I'm all open. <laughs> oh, okay, I have, I have a Zoom, I can do that too. I don't, I don't know how to do recording stuff all at the same time thing yet, although I have all the things, which is funny. I just haven't been in the practice with, you know, got the microphone, I got a bazillion microphones around me <laughs> right now, but they're not on. But yeah, I wish this could be better because this is very resolution, not that great, but aha, do I have to sign any waivers or <laughs> um it might be difficult for me tomorrow because it's my mom's birthday tomorrow um but how long do you think it's gonna be maybe we should limit it to to a certain amount of time because if you're good i could just go on story time that's, that's the caveat. I was going to say 30 minutes to give myself, you know. Like when I play guitar, I can play for seven hours and not even know what happened. <laughs> right? So, this is why this helps. Ah, uh, what's the free Zoom? Is that different from regular Zoom? Or is that, you mean, fee Zoom? Do you have any now that I can watch yet? Or would I be number one, number one podcast? Oh, okay, that's a good idea. Are you gonna share stories too? <laughs> okay. We'll talk about the dream. Uh, we'll talk about, we'll talk about the, the healthiness of your poop. That's a good segue. How is the healthiness of your poop? What does it look like? I'm an expert because they ask you that every day when you're in the hospital. There, we can start on that topic. Every day, you know, it can be like a gorgeous nurse or somebody and they're like, how is your poop? And I'm like, oh, I didn't know we were going to talk about that. <laughs> the potty humor to some serious stuff. Okay. Yeah, I mean... If it's 40 minutes, I could probably do something tomorrow. All right, good night. Much love, man. I gotta go to sleep too. So it's good to have a little plan here. And it's official. <laughs> if I don't show up, it'll be like, he's a liar. Like we saw him on the, on the live. <laughs> okay, man. I'm gonna go to sleep too. Good to, good to chat with you. Hopefully you're well. And uh, yeah, we can figure out how to do all that stuff. Spread the message of love, freedom, 
Half in truth. Right. <laughs> okay. See you, man.